Hello everyone, welcome to the video. You know, there are not very many things that are worse than being in an RV with a leaky toilet seal. That is very true, but today's video is not about replacing the toilet seal because I already did that a month ago and it's still leaking. So today we're gonna go over a few reasons on why we are replacing our entire toilet to a Dometic 310 slow close. Up, up. Yeah. Good boy. Good Louis. boy, Louie. Party on the toilet. <laughs> Louie is wondering what we're all doing in here. <laughs> Okay, my work is done. Now, Aaron, come change this out for me. <laughs> the new toilet in today's video was provided by Dometic, but they are not paying us for our opinion or for this video. The current model in our RV is a Thetford Aquamagic 2, I believe it's called, and we've had it for about 15 months now. We have had Dometic toilets in the past, and now that we've had this Thetford version, we have a good idea of what we like about both toilets and the reasons why we're gonna be switching back to a Dometic, we're gonna go over today. Starting out with the seal replacement. The seal replacement in a Thetford toilet is quite a big procedure compared to the Dometic. And I just went through this a month ago and it took me uh, at least an hour, maybe two hours to replace the seal because you have to actually take apart the entire toilet. So trying to get to those bolts from behind as you're reaching around the toilet, blind with a small ratchet, it's just a big pain in the butt. That's kind of like working on anything. It's, it's how hard is it to get to the bolts to disassemble what you're working on. And many years ago, Dometic changed the way their toilet seal was on their toilets, and you can replace the seal in a matter of minutes from the top. So those that aren't familiar with RV toilets and hearing that the seal is leaking, you might just think that the bowl doesn't hold water. And that's true, it doesn't hold water, but that's not the worst part of it. Because as soon as you turn on your fan, which we have a Max Air fan right above it, and we use that for cooking, showering, and anytime we're in the bathroom, that fan goes on. And if your seal leaks, it draws that air immediately up from your black tank. In the summertime, with the high heat as your black tank starts to heat up, you'll notice it really bad in that situation as well. So a leaking toilet seal is pretty common in an RV and in our experience over the years, uh, they've lasted anywhere from six months to a year. And for some reason, this last seal that I replaced only lasted a couple weeks. So that's one of the reasons that we want to switch out our toilet today. And I'm gonna let Chris go over the next one. So the second reason that we are going to switch out our entire toilet is because the Dometic has a 360 degree vortex flush. And what does that mean? Well, I'm gonna tell you what our current Thetford has and why I personally hate the flush on our current toilet. And in true Irene Iron Travels fashion, we're gonna talk about some gross stuff here, so bear with me. But the big reason is when you look at our current system, it has a single point of flush and it's in the rear and it's a spray nozzle that has three squirts of water. It's about halfway up on the height of the bowl and it only reaches about halfway on the length of the bowl. So what happens when you flush it is it only rinses some of the urine on your porcelain bowl. And that means over time, you're gonna have a lot of grimy calcified urine stains that are really gross and they don't clean off very well. I've tried scrubbing them with like Comet bleach cream. I've tried Magic Eraser. I've spent way too much time trying to get this hard crud off the toilet bowl. And the nice Dometic 360 rinses all the way around, there's spouts all over, and it gets that nice clean feeling with less manual labor. 
In a traditional residential style toilet, the flushers are way up top underneath the rim and you get that true 360 top down flush. Everything gets rinsed. And that's what I'm hoping to get and that I'm expecting in this Dometic. And I'm curious to hear from you guys what toilet rinsers you have and if you struggle with the same partial rinse that we currently have. I mean, you can literally see the line where you get a clean flush versus where it's stained, where you don't get a rinse. And there's probably some tricks on some things that we could do, like maybe keeping a water bottle in here with a vinegar mix solution. Every time you go to the bathroom, you could just spray it down. We could do that, but we haven't been doing it. So now we're stuck with the stain and I don't know how to remove the stains. So share your struggles with us down below. And while I'm standing right here, I'm going to jump right into reason number three that we're replacing our entire toilet. And this one actually is an upgrade that you can do on most every single toilet, regardless of which make and model that you have. And if you don't have it, you should look into it. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about the slow close lid. Have you ever had your partner slam the toilet seat down and startle you or just annoy you? I'm sure you have if you don't have the slow close lid. So when we went to go upgrade our lid to get the slow close, Aaron could not find a wooden version of it and we were only able to find a plastic version of the slow close. And when you're in an RV, every space is critical. So when we're in here, Sometimes I sit on this toilet or oftentimes I stand on it to clean the lint off of our fan and it's very soft. I worry that I'm going to fall through it or fall down. I'm actually really surprised that Aaron and I could both sit on it in the beginning of this video. So having the wood just makes it feel a lot more luxurious. It gives you that home residential feel and it's really great for sitting on and maximizing all of the space in your bathroom, including those pesky cleaning tasks. Now one thing I must say that I absolutely love about our current slow close lid, even though it's plastic, it does have some nice features. There's a quick release button right on the back of it. You just press it in with one finger and you lift it up and then the whole toilet seat comes off like this. So you can get a very nice, deep, thorough wipe down, clean off that. You can take this into your shower and bleach it down or however you wanna clean it. I did just clean this by the way, so it's nice and clean, but then it just pops right back on and it's a really easy way to keep things looking brand new. And for those of you wondering, replacing an RV toilet is not as hard as it might seem. There's usually only two bolt holes holding it down as well as one water inlet on the back. Now with all things plumbing, that's usually where you'll run into a little bit of a situation. In my case, the water inlet on the Thetford toilet was a couple inches higher than it was on the new Dometic toilet. Now if I had the correct PEX plumbing cutter, this would have been a much more simple task but because all I had was a razor blade, it ended up taking a little bit longer. So all I had to do was cut down the original PEX pipe and then reuse the original fitting in the new location. Now Dometic does offer this easy to replace toilet in three different series. The 300, which is your standard plastic bowl, the 310, which is what we have, which is a ceramic bowl, and then the 320 series, which is the elongated ceramic bowl. And that is your even more residential home style feel. Well, we hope everyone enjoyed today's video on toilets and no, we don't expect everyone to run out and buy a brand new toilet when just the seal is leaking. But this hopefully gave you guys a little bit of a glimpse into some of the variances between the two brands. And I know it's not the most exciting or sexy topic that we've ever covered, but we are here to share all of our experiences with you. And that includes the day-to-day -day house maintenance items, such as a leaky gasket on a toilet. I'm excited to get back to this Dometic toilet. It's been well over a year and a half since we've had one. I've never been so excited about a toilet in my life. And I will tell you, if you've ever had a bad seal, you will know how rancid it really is. Louis excited too. He doesn't drink out of the toilet, in case you're wondering. That's a myth. <laughs> do dogs even do that? But when we're happy, he's happy. Right, yes. <laughs>